Hi, Gringy. Seth here. I just thought I'd uh, send you a video message and let you get a sense of the surroundings here. I'll say hi. <laughs> hi. Um, give you a little tour of the house this weekend. The weather hasn't been too great lately. It's been uh, like a mini rainy season coming on, so it's pretty cloudy today and not so much wind. So the heat is uh, certainly oppressive, but whenever that breeze comes through, it makes it all much nicer. And this is the uh, same old bike path leading down to the house. I don't have any plans to leave here for as long as I'm going to be on the island because it's... Uh, suits me perfectly well in so many instances there's privacy and there's nature and there's landscape and a myriad of other factors that have uh, certainly attached this location to my heart quite solidly you can see this field here is quickly becoming overgrown which i actually like it to be that way i enjoy it when the grass grows high even though the Thai people tell me I should be worried about the snakes, I figure as long as I keep the uh, the yard cut back, that it should be okay. And so I do that. Um, I come out and I, I keep the yard, so you can see, uh, sort of just a little front yard, so to speak, that I try and keep a hold of. This palm tree right here was transplanted. Um, I took it from the woods, and so it's. It's been struggling a little bit, but I think it's on the up and up. It's been about six weeks now since I put it in, and it's starting to sprout some new palms, so I think it's going to make it. And then uh, I have, this one was also a transfer, and so they're, you can definitely tell. <laughs> they're, uh, they're getting stronger, though. They're coming up. And then I have the one, two, three by the house, and those are just, uh, those have been hatched since coconuts, and so they're doing really well look very palm tree I suppose this one is certainly the alpha of the bunch growing very fast looks great you got the banana banana grove over there and uh, and the house with the garden and everything that's uh, that, that bike I got and got the garden and the view it's just a beautiful beautiful place to call home I uh, I've been doing a couple different things here these are really starting to grow in I'm gonna come around the side here as you can see the walkway oh, out of the way banana tree so I got the walkway there going up into the house I put these trees into the ground they used to be in a pot uh, they actually grow pretty large and so do these. These are Chinese elm trees. They're supposed to get up to about 90 feet, although I certainly won't be around for that. But when I put them in, they were shorter than I am. And uh, and now, I'd say they're about seven and a half feet tall or so. So they're, they're growing well. And uh, along the side of the house, not too much is going on. But I put some sunflowers in not too long ago. And so... You can see where they're coming in at this is also going to grow into a big tree it makes all these wonderful yellow bell flowers and uh, it'll eventually turn into a, a proper tree and it'll just have blooms all the time on it so that's quite lovely and uh, I have my bushes over here with all of my flowers coming in I have a bunch of blooms that are about to come up on, on these flowers you can see that they they make these really nice uh, pretty pink flowers when they do come up and so I have all of them they're, they're gonna be quite the show I'd imagine about a week from now and then again uh, I've got my sunflowers and I've planted in and so they're starting to come up and there's my jasmine tree that's the one that smells just lovely whenever it makes its blooms and so it's doing quite well I think and then I have my the tree wall here all Chinese elm and they're starting to grow in starting to grow up a little bit it's getting better 
And again, you can see the, uh, the line of sunflowers. So uh, that should be pretty cool. I actually have another bag of sunflowers. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a second row in. And so it should make them have a terrace effect that I think will be pretty neat if it comes in the way that I'd like it to. And coming in, just got the little foray right here. Not too much, just lots of little plants and whatnot. I'll go ahead and do the outside before I go inside. And uh, yeah, just nice little walkway here. I have my tomato plant. It's doing very well. Uh, gives me lots and lots and lots of these tomatoes. I just picked them the other day, so there's not a whole lot that are ripe right now. But you can see a couple that are, especially down here. Ah, yeah, there's some good ones. So I'm uh, growing tomatoes right now as well. I had the cucumbers, um, but they're a special kind of species, and the vine sort of just dies out after three months, and so that's what happened. And this is a really beautiful flower bush. It makes uh, all these buds, you can see, and then they bloom into these really big, colorful flowers, but they don't last long. Just yesterday, this was bloomed all completely open, and now it's already closed up again, but still quite lovely to look at. Again, have the tree wall in here, and <laughs> my favorite little place to just come take a seat and look out at the world. My uh, dilapidated old wooden chair with a matching dilapidated wooden table. I'm quite pleased with them both. I feel like they match each other quite wonderfully even though I found them uh, at different times. And then just gives you that view, that wonderful view out here. That's uh, Kopengon off in the distance there. Mm. It's just generally the, uh, the courtyard. The only thing I plan to do um, out here is to put a big hammock right where that brown table is and I'll have poles that'll support it and the hammock will be in between there and uh, and that's really all I plan to do because I'm not attached to the the water here so I have to have all my water in that cistern you can just see that big concrete uh, building back there I'll walk back and show you closer but anyway it takes about 30 minutes for me to water the plants I have now and so uh, I don't imagine that I'll be adding too many more. So a lot of little flowers coming in. I really like these. This flower has all these little buds, you can see, but they only flower from, uh, you know, 10 to 2 in the afternoon or so, and then they all go away. It's a pretty plant. It's just only pretty for part of the day, I suppose. Uh, this was uh, my attempt at the aqueduct to try and deal with the, uh, the rainwater as it comes and falls down and then it was washing over the coral so I just have a situation now so that the water can just follow its trench all the way down along the side of the yard and down there over the hill and uh, we still have the old walkway here coming to the precipice at the end and Just a place I like to spend a lot of time outside. It's very uh, calming. Keeps me very occupied. I just come out and do work. Simple work, but good work. And then uh, I've got my stairs here. I used to have stairs that went that way. You can maybe make them out. Uh, but they got washed out by a bunch of flooding and so I had to make some new stairs <laughs> and so I made them in a better spot and uh, I haven't had any problems with them so far so hopefully that'll continue and so this this was the way down the old path that's now overgrown and here's the new path that I made it leads right down to the two rock paintings and so I like to come down here generally <laughs> once a day or so and walk down here to the beach through this little jungle path oh, stopping always of course to enjoy the two rock paintings that's Wilson uh, if you ever saw the movie Castaway 
with uh, Tom Hanks. That's that's uh, the depiction of Wilson there on the rock. And that's, uh, I'm sure I've already said, Edward Lowe's pirate flag. The Jolly Roger, uh, the skeleton with the time glass and the sword. I really enjoy that rock. And, uh, and yeah, and then I just... Same old little jungle path you've seen before, but I'll go ahead and walk down here to the end of where I think my property starts, or where I say my property starts. <laughs> I like to uh, imagine that it starts right here at this this stone. This is the start of my property, and after this, well, I guess it's public property. I'm not sure. Some people kayaking out there right now, having a nice time. It's a bit cloudy today, like I said, but it's still a Saturday here in Thailand, and it's not raining, so why not get out there and enjoy some of the weather? It's very nice. The tide's uh, tide's low right now, so it's not as nice as it is normally when it's up, but not too shabby, I think. And... Uh, and there she is. I'm quite sure we're going to get some rain here this afternoon. It's just coming in behind us, but uh, it's all right. I don't mind it. It's actually quite nice to sit out on the porch and just listen to the rainfall. And there there she is. That's the entrance, that little rock right there, that, that keystone of Coral Hill. So I suppose I'll just walk back up and let you take a gander at the inside before I sign off. Uh, it takes a... A lot of maintenance to keep these jungle trails from getting too overgrown, but it's a labor of love. I really do enjoy keeping it tidy and then having friends over and visitors who come and they quite seem to enjoy it. And again, there's the staircase leading up the hill, so we'll go up there. I can already feel sprinkles of rain coming down, although I feel like it'll be another 15 or 20 minutes before any storm actually makes it. I can hear the thunder in the distance though, so seems like we're destined for a wet afternoon. <laughs> That's Thailand though. Oh, and there she is. When you come up to the top, got my little gargoyles out here. Standing guard, standing firm, looking out over the world. I found this on the beach, so I just brought it up and put it there. Felt like it was a nice color. Kind of lay it there, adds a little bit of charm. And uh, I did tell you I'd let you see the cistern. It's just a block of concrete, but nonetheless, it holds about 20,000 liters. It's right there, it's above ground, which is different from in the Bahamas where they always make them uh, under. I'm not quite sure why the difference is, since it would be easier to build them underground here since it's not limestone, it's just dirt, but who knows? I haven't really taking the effort to find out but yeah here we are rain starting to fall a little bit it's okay though haven't had a fire out here for a while but i'm still well set up for it with this fire pit remember it's got this hole in there that i put in so it's got this air intake so right here on the hill, you know, it just sucks that air right through there and carries it in. So as soon as you get any kind of fire lit, it stays lit. And it just engulfs whatever you put in there. I mean, you could burn a quart of wood in half a day, I feel like, in that. It just guzzles down the, the fuel that you put in. But it's nice. It's very hot. <laughs> and, uh, and there she is. There she is. It's just such a little pleasant walkway. Of course it's much nicer in person but this phone does a, a decent job I suppose of capturing what it looks like and then I have my little neighbor's house over there he's a he's a Ukrainian not really sure he's a young guy though seems nice not really never really talked to him much again I'm sort of on my own out here just uh, left to my own devices which I very much enjoy always sort of been a bit of an introvert who happens to have a lot of friends <laughs> So, uh, I guess I'll come up and let you see inside now. I've made some changes in there as well. I'm happy, uh, this, forgive me, I forget the name of it, but this is my favorite of the plants here. It makes the most beautiful flower blooms, as you can see. 
And what, what else is cool about it, it's like a, a rubbery kind of tree. You can bend it and move it and do all sorts of things with it. it just makes, again, these really pretty flowers. It's just like a, it's like a rubbery kind of tree, but it's, it's actually, I think, my favorite one if I had to choose. And then just uh, the porch up here. Oh, old dilapidated door. <laughs> Adds character. Oh, and to the house. To the house. But once again, I put shirts over the lights because it makes it a very, it won't show you now, but at nighttime when I turn it on, it just makes a very nice soft soft light color so that's why I do that and yeah not too shabby wake up in the morning and you walk out and take a fresh a breath of fresh salty air and look at the view I've been here almost two years now and still doesn't get old Some bike out there I like it little Suzuki Got some music in the house. I'll turn it off real quick. All right. Uh, let me see here. Okay, so uh, the living room, the desk, that's where I do a lot of my work at. So I've got it well set up now. Got the, the blue curtains in here. So it's, uh, it's very comfortable. I have a lot more books now. Been able to build my collection up quite nicely, which is good. So I've always uh, enjoyed having a nice book collection. And there's the kitchen there. I got these two counters so that I have uh, room to work on. And I took one of the shelves off the wall. So anyway, the kitchen's much, much easier and nicer to work with now. I got this toaster oven. I made some, I made some biscuits from scratch this morning, and it was very good. It was just like a taste of home. So I was really, really happy to have those. And uh, I have this painting. One of my students from last year, she actually painted this for me. And I have to go this weekend and and attach some string to the back of it so I can hang it up properly let's see if I can so I mean just such a such a treasure for her to spend so much of her time to paint me such a wonderful painting very much enjoy it and uh, yeah room back here same old same old it's not really you know there's not too much but it's just enough because you know I, I wanted this place to be um, homey but it's not my forever home so there's no need to go crazy overboard I'm gonna put that painting right up there um, I think that'll really make it look nice and uh, really not anything to see in the bathroom it's just you know a bathroom although uh, <laughs> I don't know if I showed you this last time but that that's what they call a bum gun a bum gun because uh, they don't usually they don't use toilet paper. It's only Westerners that usually use toilet paper. They just take that little uh, dishwasher gun and they use that to clean themselves with. And actually, I find it to be better than the toilet paper. So that's usually what I use. But I have toilet paper for Ashley because she uh, she prefers that. So anyway, and uh, that's about it, I suppose. Uh, I'm just keeping everything up maintaining and again uh, right there where you see the table and that chair at the next time uh, there'll be a big hammock there that's 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 my next project put a big hammock there so you could just imagine laying out there on a hammock with that panorama view breeze coming in from the ocean it's gonna be really lovely can't wait for that uh, I'm gonna actually go dig up these two old telephone poles you can see them uh, one's there and the other one's over there and so those are the poles I'm going to use. I'm just going to dig those out of the ground, put them in a five-gallon bucket and fill it with concrete. And then I'll bury those buckets over there. And those will be my anchors. And then I'll just put the hammock in between. And over the top, I'll put a tarpaulin so there'll be shade. And that'll be that. But anyway, uh, that's probably about it for now. I just wanted to 
let you take a look at everything. It's been a while since my last video to you and I thought you might enjoy to see how uh, things are coming along out here. And uh, they're coming along quite nicely, if I may say so. And so, uh, yeah, just a Saturday afternoon with a little bit of rain. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, I do hope that you've enjoyed this uh, little gander. And if anyone else is interested, feel free to share the video with them. And also, uh, my invite is always open to any of you all out there that want to come by and pay a visit. I'm set up for company anytime. <laughs> so, oh, and this, uh, this last thing, this is what I'm going to make the sign. I'm going to saw it right down there, and then I'm going to put Coral Hill there, and then I'll post that sign out there by that first palm tree so when you're driving in you'll see it coral hill and i've thought about perhaps trying to put coral over this whole yard right here you could just imagine that whole yard being white coral but i haven't quite decided if i want to go through all that effort yet so we'll see but i did put the coral all by the house as you can see which i think makes it nice and it helps the plants because it conserves the water reflecting back a lot of the light instead of just having them um, right there in the dirt so they dry out quicker so it's it's been working well everything's been working well and I'm just happy as a clam <laughs> so anyway I won't stretch this out any further gringy I just wanted to say hello and let you see a little bit of the place that brings me so much joy contentment and happiness and uh, I'll be looking forward to getting back there next summer and seeing everyone and you'll hear plenty of me before then as well so i'll let you go for now and uh i love you much and uh i suppose i'll talk to you again soon <laughs> all right well bye then i love you <laughs>